Hey everyone, this is Shirley and this is uh, Jamming with Yarn, another episode of Deliberate Cooking. I want to let you guys know that I am making a, uh, a quiche out of this American, the American's Test Kitchen. I used to love to watch that. And so we are going to get started here. I am going to substitute um, items like the egg and you know this is not chicken that is my seitan and what little left i have um of what is that cilantro that's not a substitute so what we're to do is um we are going to we got all our ingredients together and we are going to put the tortilla shell in this nine and a half inch bowl we're going to spray it put a little, little cilantro on it okay we're going to do that real quick i'm just going to rub this in just a little bit make sure it's on there and then we take our flour tortilla and put it at the bottom. This is nine and a half, a little bit bigger. I hope that worked out okay. And once we do that, I hope everyone is doing fine. Let me welcome everyone back, uh, my um, regular subscribers and anyone that's new passing by. Please definitely give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a um, leave a message or something. You know, just I like anything. It helps and um, come back again S come back again subscribe that's what I need I need you to subscribe okay so the next thing is we will take the egg which I learned how to work this egg now I'm going to take the egg the milk the flour the baking powder a half a teaspoon of salt together in a bowl until it's smooth okay so I need my whisk. I hope you guys had a good holiday. Um, I don't think I made a video. My biggest fear is that you flip over and fall in the sink. You better stay. You're not drunk. You can't be acting like that. Go. Let's do that again. It's never. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's never, never um dull around here with me. We're gonna take this in a bowl. And you know, I'm looking at the recipe, so we're gonna whisk the eggs, the milk, the flour. Let's just put that in here. Seemed like I needed two bowls for something. Okay, not right. here's the um, milk. We got our milk in here. The milk, the flour, milk, eggs. Let's just put the eggs in there. We're gonna do our eggs. I found out it worked better if you use this um, long. A, a long tray it doesn't bubble up like it did in the bowl i did want to share that with you guys so we're going to put our four teaspoons of water in here real quick okay egg and I'm going to let it sit. I'm just going to make sure I can get as much dry stuff off of there as possible. Sorry for the noise. I'm going to put that in our mixture. Now let's see how this come out. We're substituting. So. And I'm going to 
this stuff together. I hope it's not lumpy. Let's see how that's going to work. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm doing this first time. This is not something I've tried before. Oh, work with me. You don't want any eggs, um, lumpy stuff like you know, pieces of substitute egg in there. I think it's all dissolved now. <clears throat> and what is next? So we put our egg, our mix. Now we're going to put our flour in this. Yeah. And we're going to put. Oh, that don't look like enough. Oh, Lord, that's pretty thick, y'all. Oh, man. I don't know about that. Uh, that looks, that don't look too good. Baking powder. Let's see how much bacon. Oh, I have to I'm putting a, a teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're going to put um, a, oh, I might have done that wrong. Okay. Baking powder, salt. It just says salt. I think it just says salt. Yep, there we go. It's looking a little thick here. Okay. Let's see what that's going to taste like. Oh, y'all. It's science. Cooking is a science. Okay, especially it's the first time. So, this is live. This is real. I think I need some more milk in here. Let's see. So, is it? In a bowl until it's smooth. Is that smooth? Let's look a little fun. I think that's those eggs. I'm gonna put just a little bit more milk in here. Just a little bit. I'm just doing that. I'm ad living or ab cooking or whatever you call it. That's not smooth. I might have to take you. Let me get this smooth and I'll come back. Okay, you guys, I think I got smooth. To me, smooth is like pancake batter. I think that's smooth. Okay. We're going to move that to the side. And we are going to take our tortilla here. We are going to, my hands are clean, I, I have to tell you. Um, I've washed them many times because I had to make this um, seitan. So we're going to take this, we're going to toss the seitan in. I'm not, I don't know if this is too much. I'll just, I'm going to toss that in. It's supposed to be shredded, but it's more like chunks. Okay, we're going to toss that in. And please ignore my... I polished my one thumb. I bought some polish. Me and my daughter, we went out. We had a girl's day, which was fun. Um, and so my nail looks horrible. And I just wanted to see how it looked. Because um, you guys know blue is my favorite color. I was thinking about getting some nails. But they're so... Um, Let's see, so we're going to take this. Oh, no, I was supposed to toss that in the bowl. Oh, goodness. I knew there was a reason I had another bowl. Well, thank goodness. I hope you guys are laughing at this because this is the real thing. You guys know I can barely see. I can barely see that right. So I'm going to put this in a bowl. And add one cup of cheese. Uh, one cup of cheese to it. I'm using my hands. This is two cups. Okay, one cup of cheese. Um, add our 
cilantro here. Okay, y'all just have to get used to that. So, um, this is one of those. We're going to add our um, jalapenos, and I have some um, smoked bell peppers also in here. Roasted bell peppers. We're going to add that to our mixture. You guys stop moving now. You're making me nervous. Mm -hmm. That looks good just as it is, don't it? Okay, now we have this. And we're going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, to that mixture. Okay. And once we do that, we're going to spread it in the pie. Now we put it in there. Wait a minute. We're going to spread it into the pie plate. That looked good. Just like that. And to, to realize that there is no eggs in there. I mean, this looks like I, you can just eat this right here. Okay. That looked like a very good... Um, I hope you guys can see that. I hope you have a nice light. Hold on. That looks beautiful. Look at that. The cheese and all that. We're going to spread this out. Try to keep it on the tortilla since the um, this is a nine and a half bowl. I went to Target today. I took you guys along and then what I realized is, oh my goodness, I left my phone at home. Sheesh. Then I was debating, should I come back? I'm like, no, you're already here. And now... Let's see. I'm going to do that part. Okay. Slowly pour the dish with the remaining cheese. But what do I do with this? What's the milk? Flour, this and that. And that and that. Bacon. Okay. I did not get it. I don't think it's on here. Toss the chicken bowl, cilantro, jalapenos, and then. Whisk the egg, milk, flour, and tablespoon of salt in a bowl until smooth, slowly. Okay, pour into the dish, I thought. So, here we go, you guys. Slowly pour into the dish. Okay. I don't know what this is going to be like. It looks like a lot. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take that and smooth it out. And we are going to add the rest of the cheese on top. Okay. I tell you, I use a lot of forks and spoons when you're doing this. I don't look like enough. Let's see. Okay. I think I am going to add some more cheese. That definitely does not look like enough. So I am going to, while we're together, so happy you guys are here with me. I'm going to add this. <clears throat> A little more cheese on here. Okay. And we'll put this in the oven. And see what it tastes like. Okay, you guys, we are back. I have given this time to um, set for 30 minutes after taking it out the oven. This is how, I don't know how well it should look like that. I think my oven is a little bit hotter, 
and also I don't have chicken in it. So let's see how this is going to um, turn out. I'm going to grab it. So it's warm. There I go. It looks pretty. I'll put more cheese on it. Let's see. Okay. Can you see? I'll make sure I get a clean cut. You see, I'm getting a small piece. I made a quiche before, a long time ago. A couple of times, a, a spinach quiche. It was really good. You know, but I used all the, it didn't have meat in it. But I used all the ingredients. So I'm going to just, hands are clean. Let's see how that looks. Still not, um, I should have just used a knife. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. Oh, let's see how it's gonna taste. I hope it tastes good because I have a lot of it. I'm gonna go put, let me just sit this over there. Okay. My presentation it looks good. Um, let's go with our easy to cut. A lot of cheese as you can see okay down the hatch <laughs> oh my gosh those peppers were hot oh, holy holy crap mm. besides that Excuse me, you guys, I'm dying here. Oh. Oh, it's good. Oh. I didn't expect those. I should have got the other peppers. Oh. But I bought the peppers from the Indian store. My favorite. Ooh, that's hot oh my gosh did not need one third cup of peppers oh but it's good oh my goodness mm -hmm. okay let's try it with that oh it's so hot on my tongue some people that's baby food It's good. Yeah. That cooled it off for me. Very good. Hold on. A little bit of water. Delicious. Perfect. Um, so far as texture, great. Flavor, definitely great. For me, I should have got banana peppers. I got chili peppers and um, pickled chili peppers because it called for um, it called for jalapenos drain. I don't know. I don't know if that's the same. It looked the same. I don't know. Anyway, it's pretty warm. Everything is great. You guys, presentation is beautiful taste is wonderful um i would give this a texture great taste good presentation beautiful i would give it an eight actually i'd give it a 10 i would give this a 10 this actually is a 10 except for don't put the hot the peppers are hot that's it thank you guys for being with me definitely 
do something for yourself. And if you can, do something for someone else. And I'll see you next time on Deliberate Cooking. I hope you like this. And, um, yeah, that's just how I cook, you know. <laughs> A little small writing. But um, any mistakes? No mistakes. It turned out perfect. Despite everything. And that's with the egg replacer. See you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.